Hello again, like-minded people. Welcome back to D-Lock's Lightning Showcase. I'm your host, Darrell Lawson. Lately, I've been fielding more and more questions surrounding the number one selling flat panels by Lithonia Lightning. But instead of me trying to break this down in my broken product knowledge, I went and got someone who's very fluent in this product category and put him in the hot seat to see if he can answer some of these questions for us. So y'all, please help me welcome to the show the General Manager and Vice President of Commercial Lightning. My name is so Tommy, first off, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Thanks, Cheryl. I'm glad to be here. I'm a big fan of the D-Walls and the Chickens. There you go. There you go. So before we get into the, why don't you tell me, why do you think that Lithonia Line is the number one seller of flat panels? Well, let's start with the brand, right? The brand's been around for almost eight years. We are the leader in commercial and residential uh, lighting. Um, and let me tell you why, right? We do a lot of validation testing. As we're developing a product, uh, we run uh, our products through gamut of tests to make sure that our, our EMI uh, is not going to cause any interference problems in space, make sure that they're compatible with multiple dimming switches and devices, and we're actually putting multiple, multiple fixtures together to simulate uh, what you would normally see in the application. So we do that to make sure before we ever send anything to the factory that the product is going to work as designed. As we get into the manufacturing facility, there's multiple checks. As you go down the assembly line, there's barcodes all the way throughout. The barcodes are scanning the driver to make sure you've got the millet right milliamp setting. They're scanning the LED board to make sure you've got the right color temperature. And then at the very end of the line, we have an end of line testing that goes through a myriad of tests to make sure that it's gonna perform exactly like our customers expect it to perform. And only, only when you see that big green label or green, green light shine, is it satisfactory to pick that up, put it into a box, and get it to these customers that are so much gonna value everything we put into our product. And then if you look at um, our, our portfolio, it's one of the most broad portfolios in the entire industry. Now, that's just in general. But what, what sets us apart from the service level is we segment our products. So contractor select, um, is a program that we have to make sure a certain number of products are always available at the right price. Then we have design select, which is intended for products. And so those commonly used options that are required for big projects, we have those with industry best lead time. I really think that the service element as well as, well as the big broad portfolio is the reason why people keep coming back asking for a portfolio lighting panel. So you mentioned the broad portfolio. But what do you say to those engineers that worry about that zebra check? Yeah, well, you know, it used to, that used to be a common question a long time ago. We never get that question anymore. And the reason, the reason is, is that if you look at backlit technology, it's not exactly a newer technology. These large screen TVs, that's backlit technology. Mm. You know, uh, when's the last time you saw a zebra stripe on a TV? Anymore? It just doesn't happen anymore. And so really it's about how you design a backlit panel. You got to make sure that you got the right LED spacing, the right LED board spacing. You got to right, have the right height with the right secondary optic that's distributing the right and the light in the right, 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 right manner. And then, as long as you've got the right diffusive lens, you're never going to see zebra striking. So, Tommy, we all know that all flat panels are not created. Can you tell me what makes the flat panels from like on your lighting unique? Well, it's all about the construction. When you look at the construction of the panel, it breaks down into three categories. Electrical, mechanical, and optical. Uh, we'll start with electrical, right? At the heart of every panel, there's a driver. Um, our drivers have typically more surge protection than what we see from our competitors. The other thing that we do, uh, we put into our drivers is isolated dimming leads. And that's really important. Uh, and the reason why is if you put a lot of panels on a circuit, certainly a dimming circuit, um, you can have some issues if you're using uh, non-isolated dimming leads, right? So we isolate the dimming leads to make sure that there's a voltage leakage on these large runs. The other thing we do at the LED level um, is over the years, we've tested lots of different LEDs um, and we use some LEDs that will handle the constant on and off and the switching cycles that come along with panels that are, that are heavily used with octopus sensors and, and wall controls. Uh, so we feel really good about not only our driver reliability, but also our LED reliability. Moving to mechanical. 
right? Our housing thickness not only meets UL standards, but it meets the intent of the UL standards. So let me explain. So our housing is 0.7 millimeters or thicker, and that's at the, the base level. That's without any coatings or paint. Uh, so that's required for commercial spaces. And when you look at the competition, very seldom do we see panels coming into our building that meet that standard. The other thing we do um, with our housings is we use a highly reflective coating to make sure that the light gets out, right? There's all kinds of light bouncing off that adhesive back up into that housing. And so by having, having high reflectivity coating, we can make sure we get the light out and it maintains a very high efficacy. Uh, let's move to the optical. We've actually chamfered our housings in a way that we did not make in a halo. We've made sure the diffuseness of the lens makes sure we're met even illumination. So let me tell you, we have a standard. We want our, our, our lens uniformity to be greater than 70% uniform. And what that means is when you look at the min to max ratio anywhere on that lens, we're never going to have something less than 0.7 to 1 min to max ratio. So when you look at it visually, all you see is one nice, even, illuminated diffuser. We're going to put the, the bidding of our LEDs in the optical category because this makes a difference. All of our panels have three macadam ellipse spinning or less. That makes sure when you look across the, the large room or large space, that all the panels are the same exact color. You're not seeing different color hues or different Kelvin temperatures spread throughout space, which is very distracting. You know, electrical, it's all about reliability. Mechanical, it's around meeting the UL standards and creating a product that the contractors feel good putting into space. And then the optical, is that customer experience, it's that visual experience of people walking through, making sure that they got comfortable, uh, visually comfortable and accurate uh, color degree. Well, Tommy, I just learned a lot in that brief discussion. Terrell, there's only one thing left for, left for us to do. What's that? Let's go light the world. Thanks for watching. <laughs>